In today's video, we're going to be learning some of the very basics of Python. And what we are going to be doing in this tutorial is basically getting the computer to display messages on the screen. Okay, so to get started, you need to open up Python. And when you do, you're probably going to be greeted with a similar screen to this, which is the Python shell. Okay, now instead of using the Python shell to do our coding, what I like to do is go to the file menu, select new file, and it's going to bring up an empty page for us to start doing our coding. Okay, so as I said for this tutorial, we want to display some messages on the screen. So in Python, the way we get messages to display up on the screen is we use a keyword or a reserved word in Python called print. Okay, so write in the word print. Then in brackets, open up a set of quotation marks and whatever you want to display on the screen, you write inside these quotation marks. So like every programmer, they will usually start with a little program called Hello World. Okay, once you've written that in, close your quotation marks, close your bracket, and you've now written your first program in Python. Okay, now to test this out, what you need to do is go to File and Save As. And you just need to save this in your account. I'm just going to call it, I'll call it Messages. And click on Save. Alright, now to run this code and see how it works, you just go up to the Run menu at the top and choose Run Module, or you can press F5 for the shortcut. What that does is it goes back to the Python shell, and you can see it's displayed the message Hello World on your screen. Okay, now going back to your code, we're going to add in, oops, we're going to add in some more uh, messages to display on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to get into the next line, I'm going to write the word Print again. This time in brackets and quotation marks, I'm just going to write in my name is, and I want you to write your name. Okay, I'll just write Harry for this one. And if we save that, I'm just going to press Control S for the shortcut, and then I'm going to press F5 to run that code. Okay, you can see now it displays the first message, which is Hello World, and the second message, which is My Name is Harry. Okay. The last thing we want to do in this tutorial is just write a third message. Okay, so I'm going to write in print one more time. And I'll just write, I am in year 10. Close your quotation marks, close your brackets, and that is our first little app made. So save that up by pressing Control S and go and run that module just to test it out. And you should have three different lines being displayed in the Python shell. Okay, so that's your very first app in Python. What we're going to do now is go to File and New and we're going to make another app. Okay, I just want to show you how to display messages that run across multiple lines. Okay, so we still use the keyword print. Okay, and we open up brackets. Now instead of using the double quotation marks that I was using before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a single quotation mark, but I'm going to type it in three times. So I'm going to have one, two, three. And I'm going to write, this is how you write on multiple lines in Python. Okay, and when you're finished, just close those quotation marks off by doing the single quotation mark three times, and then close your brackets. And what that does is it allows us to have all this text written on multiple lines. Okay, we just have to use the word print once. So I'm going to save that, and I'll just call it messages2 maybe, or multi-line messages, whatever you want to call it, and click on save. Once it's saved, you can then run it, and you will see that your text goes over multiple lines. Okay, so that's all I want to show you in this tutorial. I just wanted to make sure that you know how to display messages by using the reserved word print, okay, and it's in brackets, use quotation marks to wrap up whatever text it is you want to display on the screen. It's as simple as that. Occasionally you will use the multi-line text like this one here, but more often than not you're just going to be printing simple messages like that on one line. Okay, I will catch you in the next video.